Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be reviewing the James Brand Pike. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, cool. Let's get into it. So this is the Pike from James Brand. If you don't know James Brand already, they make some really classy looking knives. And they're not all uh, slip joints like this one, but the um, the overall design, the overall aesthetic is just really kind of gentlemanly, classic, classy stuff. The, um, the designs are classic, but they definitely use modern materials and kind of put a modern twist on the classic designs. So definitely check them out, the James brand. And this knife is called the Pike. So a few years back, they had a knife called the County, and that was their, I think it was their first slip joint. Anyway, it was their slip joint from a few years back, and the um, there were a few issues with it. I, I never handled one, but from what I've heard, and they took uh, all that criticism and made some tweaks to the design and changed a few things, and they just came out with the Pike. So they've improved on the design from their older slip joint model, the County. And I think that they did a really good job so far with the Pike. Now, it is a slip joint. As you can see, you open it with this nail neck. Now, underneath the knife, I'll go ahead and show off the knife pouch that it comes with, which I think is already a good upside. You can pull it out with the lanyard that's attached. And it came in this packaging, classy packaging with a modern touch um, for a classy gentleman's knife, just like that. So put away this wooden box and let's talk about the knife. So it is a slip joint. The uh, scale material is rosewood, which I love. Super smooth. You can see the wood grain. And I think this is I think this is stainless steel. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel like aluminum. I think this is stainless steel. So it's rosewood and stainless steel. Nice thick blade. It does come with a lanyard, which I you know it's not. I could take it or leave it. I'm not a lanyard guy, but it's a nice touch that it comes with it. You can see the James Brand logo. And that is super smooth inlaid into the rosewood. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now it is a nail nick, so it's kind of a little bit tricky to get out, but not a big deal. Boom. The um, blade shape is almost like a, I call it a worn cliff. With that little point at the end. The ergonomics are pretty good for a slip joint for a gentleman's knife. Um, and we'll talk about the upsides and the downsides soon, but there is no jimping, which it, it's just pretty slick. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get into that in, uh, in a few minutes. You can see the James brand logo, pretty minimalist branding, which I think is an upside. I think that's pretty cool. The blade steel is 12C27, which it's okay. It's not the not the greatest steel in the world. It's a budget steel, not a big deal. Overall, really nice looking knife. Very classy, fits my hand well. Let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. Get this guy laid down. Let's go ahead and compare it with the, uh... no. <laughs> I had to get some 4Max Scout action in there now. Um, let's go ahead and compare it with another small knife, the Spyderco Ladybug. Pretty close. Let's go ahead and get the Quiet Carry Eddy. Very similar, very similar size. I think that's a good comparison. And then let's also, let's get the ladybug out of there. 
Let's go ahead and get another really awesome uh, gentleman's knife in here, the Quiet Carry IQ. And the Quiet Carry IQ is fairly small, and you can see the size comparison, the size difference. Now, let's go ahead and get these guys measured out. We got the IQ blade length coming in at looks like just under three inches. Full length, just about seven inches. The pike blade length, about two and a quarter. And the full length, we're at about five and a half. And then for the eddy, two and a half on the blade and just about five and a half on the handle. So if we look at these handles, they're actually very, very similar, just a little bit thinner on the Pike. Now, um, both Quiet Carry and James Brand kind of have a similar, I don't know if they're in competition with one another, but they have a similar um, kind of stylized aesthetic going on. And I actually have a bunch of Quiet Carry knives and I only have one James Brand. This is my first James Brand knife. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the upsides and the downsides of the Pike. I'll go ahead and get the Eddie put away. So for the upsides, I think that the aesthetics are really nice. The rosewood is smooth, the inlay, you can just barely feel a difference between the stainless steel and the rosewood. There's not a huge difference. You know, on some knives with an inlay like this, you can feel like a bump and you can feel an obvious difference, but it's pretty smooth, very level on both sides. I like the branding, very subtle, minimalist branding. That's another upside. Um, I thought that the Packaging was an upside. I always like when knives come with some kind of knife pouch, knife slip, or knife case, so that's an upside. The knife came super sharp. Again, pretty good upside. The aesthetics are right on. Very classy gentleman's knife. And the ergonomics are pretty good. They're not the greatest, but pretty good for a gentleman's carry for a slip joint. You can choke up on it for precision cutting. You can get, I can get a, you know, four, four finger grip. Although you have to be careful with your pointer finger because it is a slip joint. You don't want it closing on your finger. So I'd say comfortably it's a three finger grip. Now, um, I also like that it comes with a lanyard, even though I'm not a lanyard guy. I think that's a nice touch. It fits with this knife. Again, minimalist branding plus, um, that's a big plus for me. Little, yeah, little branding. I don't know what that says. Oh, I guess it's the steel. Yeah. 12C27. Okay. Overall, pretty classy. It's definitely a knife for a night out or a fancy dinner. Now for the, uh, oh, I forgot about one upside. So when you go to close this guy, some slip joints will have one stop. And then when you get to about here, it just slams shut. But these are actually uh, running on phosphor bronze washers, which I think is pretty cool. So you're gonna have it stop here, 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 even down to there, and it's not gonna close on your finger. That's one of the reasons I kind of stay away from slip joints is um, so I don't cut myself so it doesn't slam on my finger, but that's pretty good that it goes all the way down that far before it slams. So to me, that's that's a huge, huge upside. I'm glad I, <laughs> glad I remembered that. Now for the downsides, there's only a few. Number one is it would be nice if the blade was flush with the scale. So if it wasn't sticking out, although this is an improvement from the county where it was kind of uneven. So at least this is level all the way through, not a huge deal. Although the edges 
of the blade definitely need to be taken down a little bit and need to be chamfered just a little bit yeah a little bit sharp that's that's too sharp on the edge um another downside is that it is only um a nail nick open so i you cannot get this guy open any other way so i, I don't know what i would do if i didn't have a long thumbnail right now um because you definitely need to get in there with your nail to open it now just having opened this a few times, it's already loosened up a little bit, which I like, but definitely a downside that I cannot open it any other way. I think that the, um, I'll go ahead and get this guy open again. I think that they should definitely be uh, using a higher end steel. 12C27 isn't, it's not terrible, it's it's okay. Yeah, this tip is super sharp. Um, it's okay, but I think that they could use, I mean, if they used S30V or S35VN, that would be just a, a huge step in the right direction. Now, you're not going to do any, like, heavy-duty cutting with this. It is a gentleman's knife, so I understand why they went with more of a budget steel, but you have, like, <laughs> the nicest aesthetics, the, the classiest-looking knife, and then you put 12C27 on it. It just doesn't doesn't really make sense to me. But I love for for I love to see them um, uh, upgrade the steel. I'd love for them to upgrade the steel. I think that'd be a huge step in the right direction. I do like these different stops as it closes. Big plus. The aesthetics are awesome. I love the wood grain. The branding is great. And. I do wish that I could get this knife out without the nail nick, but for a night out, for a classy dinner, something that's gonna disappear in your pocket when you don't wanna wear a knife on your waist, I think this is a great choice. And definitely this is a huge, huge improvement from uh, its predecessor, the County. So definitely a step in the right direction for the James brand and for the Pike. Um, I think that just about covers it uh, let me know if anyone has any questions or if you guys own any knives from James Brand. Um, you can go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, thanks so much for listening. This has been Knife Standards. Catch you later.